Thanks, Serbia, ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues. First of all, many thanks for the invitation and for giving me the opportunity to address you all on the occasion of the closing event of the forward project supported by, also supported by the German government. I have to admit that I'm very cu curious to hear and to read more about the findings of your long term monitoring of the political process and the early parliamentary, parliamentary elections that took place last December. The goals you have set with this project are very challenging. The project aim was to provide continuous long-term observation, reporting, analysis and recommendations based on the principles of neutrality and objectivity. Civil promised to provide comprehensive, non-partisan, entirely objective and neutral observation, reporting, analysis again and recommendations and to re reveal information on the conduct of the political parties, institutions of the state, local authorities, media and other relevant stakeholders in the process. After having read your report on the early parliamentary elections of the year 2014, in which you proved the malfunctioning of the electoral system, it became obvious that changes need to be made. With this report, you not only succeeded in revealing massive electoral violations and irregularities which had even been confirmed. Three other points were obvious. First, it became clear that there is fear and uncertainty among the voters about electoral participation in elections. Secondly, the population has no or very limited knowledge on the right to vote. And thirdly, manipulative uh, practices of political parties and political organizations had to be witnessed despite intense monitoring of the elections. Forward, you see it here, I think, uh, is the third consecutive civil project that is being financially supported by the German government. With your last project, free elections for free citizens, you are already managed to contribute to the changes in the perception of various aspects of electoral processes and on public awareness on elections and voting rights. I especially like the fact that by using interactive platforms in the internet, you have created new approaches to encourage the Macedonian people to participate in the development of the electoral system. To me, it's very clear that each and every euro of the sum spent so far was worth that. I would like to thank Civil for its tireless work and all the efforts. And here is the civil family, and uh, if I may say, it's a very female family, no? so, so that's very good. No? <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, in uh, the German constitution, our basic law, Grundgesetz, you can read the following sentence. All state authority is derived from the people. It shall be exercised by the people through elections and other votes. <coughs> Elections are not a state or a government affair. It takes all, the citizens, the society, to develop a sound basis for state and society. A vibrant civil society is a must, a positive stimulus. It is for this reason that we will continue to support non-governmental organization, organizations who will act on behalf of those who constitute the origin of all power. So, the Macedonian people. May I conclude by saying that Germany is here in this country as a friend and partner, a partner of the Macedonian people on the way towards Europe integration and as access to NATO. The political situation in the country is still difficult. Political will is always a precondition for political breakthrough. <coughs> In that context, I do welcome the long-awaited political dialogue and the openness of President Ivanov to consult with all parties involved, as we have witnessed yesterday. Again, good luck for you, Sybil, 
congratulations on all the work done. And again, I may repeat, we will go on in supporting the process of reform in the country, which will improve the democratic values in line with European standards. Blagodaram nasite. Mm -hmm.